What's up everyone, I'm Jed the Pokemon Tycoon, and uh, what I have here are three Korean boxes of Lost Abyss. I actually have two more of these. I bought five boxes of Lost Abyss Korean version, and I paid $131. Um, so basically the amount that you would spend on one booster box of Lost Origin, I essentially have five. Um, this is really exciting to me. This is gonna give me a really good chance uh, to pull an alt art and uh, there's two that I'm after. I really want the Giratina, of course. Um, I would love to pick up. I've already pulled one of those in the past from the English version, um, but I sold it uh, because, you know, I Pokemon cards are expensive. I buy a ton of Pokemon cards and I can't always keep the big cards. So I did end up selling that card and I miss it. <laughs> I would love to get another one. Let's go ahead. I'll see if I can rip these. Um, I do have scissors here, so if this isn't working out for me, I might use the scissors. That actually was fairly easy. That was not too bad. And we have a hit on the first pack. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> Kyra. Um, if you guys watched my other videos, I've pulled two Moonbryons out of Korean boxes. This is actually the third Korean box I've ever opened third one so my first two korean boxes i pulled a moonbryon out of each one of them and um and that does raise people were kind of you know questioning well do you think this is legitimate are these real etc you know it, it raises questions like that gosh i thought i saw something shiny here too okay i'm getting freaked out guys i think i think this is gonna be good um let me show you we'll do a rip test these are korean cards the backs look very english uh, the fronts look very Japanese, except for the yellow border is a giveaway that's not Japanese. And let's see, the ink inside is actually purple. So it's kind of a purple color to this. Uh, if you rip a card and it's white, uh, here's the here you see the white. But if it's all white and there's no color inside, then you know that you've got something bad. Uh, as far as I know, that's true for all Pokemon cards that if it's just white inside, it's a very bad sign. Um, but anyway, so this is the equivalent of Lost Origin. Uh, I really want that Aerodactyl. I've probably already put that on screen by now. Um, and of course, I would love to see Giratina again. I feel like with five boxes, we have a really good chance of, of pulling one of those cards. We have a really good chance, guys. And, uh, even if we don't, I really am enjoying the Korean the Korean cards here. Uh, the value per dollar is so refreshing to me. Like I said, I paid less. I paid 131, and I'm pretty sure it worked out. Oh, we've got a gold card. We got something. Um, wow. Oh, very blingy. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, I don't think I've pulled this before. I think this is like called Azure, or I don't know. That is a very blingy card. Um, these Korean cards, like look at the texture on this. They have been very good quality so far, um, especially the hits. The hits with the texture, I'm very impressed with. Um, so let's keep going. That might be, that might be the big hit for this box. Um, but I did watch someone on YouTube who said he had a Korean box like this and he pulled three three secret rares out of one box. Um, I'm pretty sure that gold card does count as a secret rare. Um, so let's see what we can do. Well, I guess it says ultra rare here. It says ultra rare. Um, anyway, different places call them different things. Uh, rainbows and gold cards typically are kind of considered secret rares. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but that's the way I've always heard it. Anyway, super excited to have a chance to chase. I like Metagross, look at him. And there are some cool stuff in here. This is a Asako Ito, the yarn, yarn art. Very cool. So um, anyway, super exciting for me to have a cheap way to chase some of these big cards that I'd like to see. You know, I do feel like as I'm ripping these open, if we do get a Giratina, we're gonna see it right away because as I'm ripping these open, it's very hard to not show you the whole pack. Okay, what is this, Delphox? Nice, we got Delphox. Sleeve that bad boy up. 
Um, so yeah, I really want that Giratina. I'm, I'm gonna chase it. I have a feeling, like even if I open all five of these box, if I, if I don't get either one, I'll probably buy more. <laughs> if I don't, if I don't get my Giratina or my Aerodactyl, I will probably buy more boxes of these. Um, to me, it's really fun to be able to chase big cards for cheap. I'm really enjoying that. And in fact, I, I just want to tell you guys, if you're watching this video, give it a shot. If you've never tried Korean, um, find them for, find them for a good price. Like I said, I got these very cheap. I think it works out to about $26 a box. So I don't know how you can get much cheaper than that. That is, that is just crazy cheap for Pokemon cards. Um, that's about what I paid. Uh, so find them for cheap. Chase one of these big cards. Those Eevee hero boxes are so fun. I would encourage you buy some Eevee heroes uh, in Korean because honestly, that is the cheapest way to chase Moonbryon. And uh, and even if you don't get Moonbryon, that is a really fun set to open. Tons of alt arts in there. Oh, Perserker! <laughs> Ew. Oh, it looked it looked very fancy for a second there on the edges. We got Perserker there. Okay. I'm just kind of flying through these. Uh, a lot of it's for time's sake. I, I think we'll probably open a second box here. We got Kingdra. Oh, we got we got some sort of uh, V Star. Was that Draclo? Is that what that is? Oh, look at that! That is a beautiful card. Okay, so see this texture. This is this is crazy texture on here. We got the Giratina V Star. Very nice looking card. You can't. I I I know I've said this way too many times. But the texture on these cards, I think, is better than English. So these hit the when like the Moonbryon I pulled, they look really, really, really good. I mean, look at the texture on this Giratina. This is really nice looking, and I, I've pulled this card several times in English as well. I don't remember it looking this good. So uh, I know it's hard to tell on a video, but let me know in the comment section if you agree with me. Also, while you're watching, if you're enjoying this content, please subscribe. Uh, my channel's still pretty small. Uh, subscribe, like, um, watch videos, check out my other stuff. It really helps me out, and I do appreciate it. Let's see. Oh, okay. What is this? Drapirion, I think is his name. Dra is that right? Drapirion? Very cool. Back-to-back V-Star cards. Now, I did find out, I, I stand corrected, that these Korean boxes, you're not guaranteed a secret rare. You're not. So we already pulled the gold car. We've got two of these V-Star cards. We're actually doing really, really well here. But apparently in the Korean set, you're not guaranteed anything. And like I said, I have heard and seen people um, pull more than you would expect you could pull out of one box. In every sense uh, that I can think of, this is a very legit uh, pack opening experience and the bang for your buck is just it's out of this world I this is I've, I've literally fallen in love hopefully you guys don't fall out of love with my content but for me being able to chase these big cards and not pay a ton of money it just is is wonderful feels like a dream come true <laughs> let me know if you've tried it and if you haven't tried it look at that the same Kyrim we already pulled that one guys the same Kyrim. Uh, if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend that you try it. Um, just because bang for your buck, you can't go wrong. Spend $30 and you get a whole booster box and uh, you get a whole booster box and a chance to pull some really nice big cards. So in my mind, there's just so many positives. I don't see the negatives. And you know, you could say, well, the negative is that it's Korean. Honestly, because of the quality, I don't see it that way. The quality is there. It's really good. If you're used to English cards, um, 
I honestly think this will be an upgrade for you if you're used to English, because I think these are better quality than English. Nice. Okay, so that is box one, 30 bucks. This is what we got. Let's go ahead and roll into box two and, uh, and see what we can get out of box two. Just out of curiosity's sake, let me know what are you guys buying? Where are you collecting? What are you what are you opening these days? Let me know uh, down in the comment section. What are you doing currently in the hobby? Is there anything you're going after? I'm actually gonna make a video very soon about um, my goals for 2024 in the hobby and what I'm gonna go after. And right here, this is a this is a clue. For me, this is a sword and shield renaissance where I get to go and chase some of these big poles out of Sword and Shield that uh, um, it's, it almost feels like the last, uh, the sunset for the set. You know what I mean? Like like Sword and Shield is, is at the sunset point where it's it could the window is closing for us to really be able to open this up at least affordably. And um, I would even argue that for Evolving Skies, the window's already closed. You know, uh, <laughs> the sun has set on Evolving Skies already. Um, it's very expensive unless if you go the uh, Korean route like I did. And um, I also gonna make a video about one of my Moonbryons I actually sold slash traded. It was a trade with cash and I did really, really well. So to anyone that's gonna say, oh, well, Korean cards don't have any value. Um, that's actually not true. I was on eBay the other day looking for Korean Moonbryons. The cheapest one I found, uh, and, and fair enough, on eBay, they were all graded, every single one of them. I couldn't find a raw one, but the cheapest one I found was at auction, people bidding on it, and it was at $400 and still had a lot of time left on the auction. So what does that tell you? That tells you that um, it does hold value and I, I actually sold mine for really good value. And, uh, and I'm keeping mine. I don't want to, the one that I have, I'm keeping it. I don't want to get rid of it. It's a really beautiful card. The quality is fantastic. I believe it's a 10. I am going to try and grade it. So far on box number two, we have pulled Zilch. Zero out of box two. But I have a feeling we're going to hit a bunch of hits all together. Hey, look at that, a different Gir different Giratina. Super cool. I like, I'm digging the vibes on this, the weird rainbow colors and stuff. I'm digging it, very cool. We'll, we'll put these in a separate pile and we'll see which box was better. Okay, and like I said, we actually don't have a guarantee, but these packs, every single pack that I'm opening here, uh, I paid less than a dollar for. Um, and also, there are 100 cards in this set. So if you want to complete this set, I think it would be very doable. 100 cards in the set, not unreasonable. I think it, it could be done fairly easily. In fact, the five boxes that I got here for $131, I could probably complete the set. I don't know. Maybe that's, what is that? Pidgeot. We got a Pidgeot V. Haven't seen this card. Very cool. I dig Pidgeot. Any throwback to any of the original 151. It's cool. All right. Very nostalgic for me. I grew up with Pokemon cards. Uh, I remember we'd mow lawns and go to the mall and buy po booster packs <laughs> with our with our hard earned money. Nice. I might have gotten in trouble one time for going out uh, crossing a street I wasn't supposed to cross and buying Pokemon. <laughs> okay we are winding down there's a v-star okay we got a v-star oh aerodactyl just a tease guys let me know right now before the video goes any further let me know in the comments do you think i'm gonna pull any of these alt arts last time i was i was two for two on moombryon it was insane it was 100 percent a miracle i <laughs> literally a miracle don't know how else to explain it. 
Let me know if you think I'm gonna pull any of these. Oh, another one. Wow, beautiful. So it kind of feels like with these uh, with these boxes, you will get Giratina. Uh, the question is, which one? <laughs> You'll pull a Giratina, just uh, which one? <laughs> okay, I am loving this. I'm so I was so excited to open these up, guys. I still am. I'm stoked. This is so much fun for me. Um, so yeah, I just, as a collector, ooh, we got something, I think it's a V card. Oh, it looks, it looks nice. This might be an alt. This might be some sort of alt. No, that is stupid. <laughs> you guys, this is stupid. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. Box two. Oh, wow. Woo. Guys, I, I know. Listen, you have to watch my videos, watch all my videos, watch back. I've never made up something. I've never, I don't, I, I have a lot of integrity. I don't like to lie about anything. Um, this is legit. I do think though, I'm not sure that I love the quality on this card. I'm just being honest. I had the English one. I wish I could prepare, compare it I want to compare it side by side with the English one. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. There's no way. And don't don't get me wrong. This is a crazy huge monster of a card. I'm super thankful for this. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> like seriously, this is what we're chasing. His eye, his eye looks really interesting. His eye is like a focal point on the See on the texture how his eye is a focal point? That's so cool. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Beautiful. I don't even... Who knows how much this card... This card is at least... I can tell you right now, it would be easy, easy for me to get 100 bucks. Probably 150 bucks would be easy, just as it is. Um, but honestly, it might be worth more. And finding comps on Korean cards was is actually very difficult. And so because there's not like a set a set price, it's almost kind of worth what people are willing to pay for it. Um, so this stuff might not be as desirable, but when you have a chase card like this, uh, someone sees this, if I sell this for $150, someone sees, wow, I can get a pack fresh Giratina for 150 bucks, sold. <laughs> wow, 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 very cool. Uh, the texture is really good. I, I love the texture. It's more the shine, like on the edges and stuff. It's a little bit weird. Um, but you know, this is kind of a weird card. I don't know if you guys knew, this was a very polarizing card. Some people loved it, some people hated it. And um, so it is kind of a weird card in general. The artwork is very strange. Um, really cool, I'm so thankful we had it. So, this is my plan, guys, and, and I'm going to use as many Korean boxes as I can. My plan is I am collecting all these huge cards for myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm collecting these as display pieces for myself because I think what would be cooler than to have every single one of these? <laughs> so let's... <laughs> Oh man, you know what? If if the uh, if the Aerodactyl is in here, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip out, guys. That would be too good. Um, you never know. We got boxes left. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say I think the second box was better than the first box. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else we pull, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I don't know if you can tell, guys. I'm tickled. I am absolutely thrilled. I can't believe it. I literally sing down. I was like, I, I, I know it's not going to be this easy. Every, you know, I shouldn't say things like that because, you know, I'm a man of faith. Uh, if it, it, it can be as easy as it wants to. If it's easy every time, I don't mind. I'm okay with that. It can be easy. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh wow, 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 wow! Super excited, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, a lot of people watch my videos and don't subscribe. If you like the content, please subscribe. I could use your help. And uh, thanks for watching. I do have a lot more fun stuff coming, especially this summer. I've got really fun stuff to talk about. God bless you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.